Inside of Black Myth Wukong, there is a single location that has every single vendor inside of the game in one location. However, this location, the Zodiac Village, is actually locked behind a quest line that you need to go to Chapter 3 to even start. Now more specifically, you need to progress Chapter 3 until you get to Bitter Lake, North Shore of the Bitter Lake location. This is exactly where you want to start because right in this area, you're actually going to see a dragon wading out in the water right in front of an old hut. This dragon is who you need to interact with to really start this quest line, but before you can even really talk to this dragon, he's going to immediately start fighting you when you first interact with him. Of course, as you might guess, you need to defeat him first before you can actually have a full conversation with him. Very similar to a lot of different NPCs in this game. Now, Thankfully, he's not as difficult as some of the other bosses you've already had to fight in Chapter 3 and throughout the game, so this fight really shouldn't be all that challenging for you. After you defeat him, a short cutscene will play where he starts yelling at you that he needs a very specific healing pill from Zhu Dog. If you don't know where Zhu Dog is, let me show you. Now, Zhu Dog can be found at two different locations. The very first one is going to be in Chapter 2 at the Saiyan Gate Village Village entrance. He's going to be very close by to this particular transportation area. This first location is very easy to miss because if you just go through the Chapter 2 really Really, really quick you don't really stop to take a look at this location now when you first find Zhu dog at this location he's gonna be staring at this rock trying to use it as a furnace to make medicine interact with him and he's gonna ask for your help to defeat an enemy very close by in a little pond to get back the recipe for this medicine this enemy is an electric frog in a small pond that uses a lot of different electric attacks on you but when you do finally defeat this frog you will have a recipe and all you have to do is return back to Zhu dog he will give you this recipe back and a couple different pieces of the same medicine he will then disappear to the second location in chapter 2. This second location is hidden underneath the Crouching Tiger Temple and the easiest location to start from is the Temple Entrance. Now if you haven't done so already, you are going to need to defeat the boss in this area. Once you defeat this boss, you will get an item that you can then use to open up a secret chasm underneath the boss arena. Inside of this boss arena, you're going to see a Buddha in the back that is decapitated with a small figure on it. Once you defeat the boss here, go up to that small figure and interact with it. That is going to open up this giant giant lion's mouth that you see on your screen right now. Enter into this tunnel and simply progress until you get to a certain location where you are forced to slide down a hillside. Once you get to the bottom of this hillside, you'll see a cave on the right where you actually end up seeing Zhu Dog and the furnace that he was looking for. Zhu Dog is an extremely helpful vendor, so make sure you browse everything that he has, but for the purposes of this quest, you want to make sure you actually use the talk action to talk to him in general. If this is your first time actually interacting with him, he's going to give you a token of gratitude for helping him out earlier. If this happens, just talk to him again the same way but this time he's going to immediately start talking about the grumpy dragon that you attacked and talked to in chapter three so now that you have this particular medicine for the dragon we can now go back to chapter three and interact with the dragon once more now thankfully he's in the same location where you fought him previously so just simply return to that location in chapter three deliver this pill to him in the medicine a short cutscene will appear for you where you are given a scroll from the dragon for your efforts inside of this quest line now as soon as you get this scroll you actually get teleported to this secret village the Zodiac Village. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is where every single one of the vendors you can interact with inside of Black Myth Wukong is going to be, making it a one-stop shop location. Now, it's important to note that you have to have interacted with all the vendors first before they are teleported to the specific location. So obviously, you've already interacted with Zhu Dog, but just to make sure I cover every vendor in this video, you want to make sure you have interacted with Shen Monkey back in Chapter 1. He's very hard to miss because he's literally in your path to get to a certain part of the main storyline in chapter one. You interact with him just outside of the Bamboo Grove Marsh of White Mist teleportation location inside of chapter one. As you're descending from this teleportation area, you're going to start hearing an NPC yelling that he's getting attacked by a different NPC, a different enemy. As soon as you defeat that enemy, he will drop down and invite you into the cave where he is storing most of his liquors. Like I said, he's very hard to miss, but as soon as you do this, he will teleport to the Zodiac Village. Now, of course, I have to touch on Chen Long, the dragon that you actually talk to to open up this secret area he actually allows you to grow different plants inside of one single location which makes it very easy to come back and get very specific items for crafting you do need to find seeds for those items inside of the main game but that's not really all that difficult as long as you interact with all the plants you see now out of all the vendors in this location there's definitely one that stands above the rest in my opinion and that is going to be the tiger at the back of the village that you can see hammering this giant sword of his this is the blacksmith yin tiger 
he allows you to not only purchase upgrade material but also purchase upgrades in general and upgrade your armor to make it that much better which is very much needed if you want to become op in this game upgrading the armor is definitely something you should look into as you progress towards the end of this game or if you're in a new game plus but inside of his menu you'll also notice the challenge icon that you can interact with this will quite literally allow you to unlock and basically fight a secret boss in this area so not only is this a really fun fight he hits super hard and uses really cool abilities which i won't spoil here for you but just know that when you do defeat him you get a brand new transformation this transformation is called ebb and flow which allows you to actually turn into the yin tiger now you're not going to have as fun moves as you have seen him use against you in the fight but he still hits extremely hard which is an awesome thing to have in a transformation in my opinion now for defeating you don't only just get the spell that turns you into the yin tiger you also get a brand new armor set as you can see the armor set when fully equipped has the iron will abilities which essentially helps out your rock solid spell the gauntlets in particular have a really nice unique effect when you use rock solid so i definitely would recommend you use it if you like using the spell rock solid now i can't end this video without showing you guys the transformation itself so here's a little bit of the gameplay of the ebb and flow transformation in game again i think it's my favorite transformation inside the game personally but let me know what you guys think down in the comments when you do finally get your hands on this transformation overall i hope you guys found this walkthrough guide helpful as you can see just unlocking the zodiac village is a reward in and of itself but having the ability to also get this transformation in addition to a brand new armor set definitely worth going through this small quest line once again i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below so i know that you did and let me know your favorite part of this quest line as well in the comments once again i hope you guys found this helpful i'll catch you in the next video